James Holland returned his call. I'm still in Germany and I'll call him back within the hour. Yes, please. I do need to speak with him. Thank you. Is flight on time, Captain? Is that the first question on the midterm exam from the company spied in? <laughs> oh, we've got a long flight together, James, and the attitude is not going to make it any easier. You know the routine. Once a year, you fly a trip with the check pilot, not the co-pilot. Just to make sure everything is copacetic. Cat makes me the company spy. I can live with that. I was a flight on time, Captain. As far as I know, Danny. Wrong. It's been delayed 30 minutes. We won't be departing for New York until 15.30. Sticky fuel valve. I called operations about a half an hour ago. I was quite surprised when they said they hadn't even heard from you. It wasn't necessary. I knew I had an extremely efficient check pilot. How long's the delay? Honey, the... honey, we made it. It's okay. Come on, let's get it.
scared. I threw 37 sorties into the storm back. I was never this scared. Or this relieved. Oh, thanks, Doc. And, uh, Merry Christmas. And have a good trip. Okay, come on, Amanda. Let's get on the plane. We'll take good care. Better late than never. Isn't that what you and Kissinger told the North Vietnamese in Paris, Mr. Ambassador? I should have paged you. The president called, and I wanted to take it on a secure line. We have a change in plans? No, 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 Rachel. We're going home. He just wanted to wish me the joys of the season. What's the matter? The guy never heard of Christmas cards? Boarding call for quantum flight number 66. Flight 196, clear for takeoff. Uh, Roger, 196, we're rolling. Uh, ground control, uh, 196, off report. Merry Christmas, Sergeant Hamilton. Thank you. Happy holidays from all of us at Quantum. <laughs> ah, Merry Christmas, Mr. and Mrs. Erickson. How long before we land at Kennedy? Oh, about eight and a half hours. The captain will let us know. Are you sure? Everything's going to be fine, Lisa. Yes, Keith, once we get home. Natural fibers. A miracle. <laughs> For years, a new line of natural fibers I bring these airlines, and every year, they say, no, a full Cleveland is good enough for our girl. C-2016, Mr. Walters. But now, it's astonishing. I, I, I tell you, no more leisure suits with white belts and matching shoes, huh? <laughs> Who's your vendor? Well, we're running late, Mr. Walters. Oh. Bye. Yeah, see you next flight. Welcome aboard. Yeah. Hi, how are you? <coughs> Sir, are you all right? Oh, thank you. I, uh, I just felt very weak all of a sudden. That's just your seat number. I'll help you. Oh, no, I wouldn't want to expose you to my coat. Don't worry about that. This doesn't belong under the seat. 08, right behind him. Copy. Flight deck. Got your Santa suit on? You bet. What's the count? 245 in the cabin, 10 cabin crew, and two in the cockpit. That's 257 total. Roger. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. Merry Christmas, folks. This is Captain Holland up top in Santa's favorite 400-ton sleigh. Now that you're all settled in, we've got the reindeer hitched up, the sextant lined up. We're going to point this sucker west and head on home. for the autopsy. There's no time to waste. Tell Bobby 
notify the captain. Is anybody here a doctor? I'm a doctor. We must get this man to a hospital. Flight deck? I think we got a heart attack back here, Captain. Heart attack? How bad is it, Barb? Well, Brenda's doing CPR, and this doctor working with her who says that we got to get this man to a hospital fast or we're going to lose him. All right, keep me posted. London Center, Quantum 66 Heavy. We have a medical emergency. We need immediate vectors for emergency landing at... London Heathrow, priority handling paramedics on the tarmac. Demand, don't ask. Line one for you. Quantum 66 Heavy. You back in a jiff? Who is it? This is an emergency. Health services. I followed the bloody protocol. Told them everything I know. Sloan. Am I certain his name was Helms? Yes. Ernest Helms. Why? What difference does it make to the Germans? He's an American male. Yes. Ten minutes. I'll let them know. to go somewhere over the English Channel and dump fuel. No, there's no time. We've got a dying man back there. As soon as they clear us, we're landing. You're planning an overweight landing in a $160 million ship on the assumption that you can save one passenger? we got to get our landing weight down. We need to dump fuel, like the book says. I fly by the book over Iraq. I'm dead meat. I fly by the book now. Professor Helms probably doesn't make it. Now, I am landing as soon as we're cleared, and I don't give a damn what your book says. Got it? Where's Quantum? I've turned him on base leg. Put him in a holding pattern. Let me talk to him. What? London Center, Quantum 66 Heavy. We have the airport. Request visual approach. Quantum London Center. I need to put you in holding. Quantum London Center. You are now clear to hold on the London 200 degree range of 10 miles. Right hand turns. 10 mile legs at 5,000 feet. London, this is Captain James Mullen. We have a probable heart attack on board. And you want us to what? Captain, this is London. Do you understand the holding instructions? Your voice, London. Who is it? This is the senior director, London Center. 6-6, six, six, go ahead. Captain, we'd like you to come up on the same frequency your company uses for operations in Miami. We can speak to you on that channel privately. London, we have a dying man on board. We cannot hold. That is not an option. Spare me the drama, Captain. The sooner you come up on the appropriate frequency, the sooner I can explain. Roger, London. What is that? One, two, four, decimal three, five. Aside from your medical emergency, the British Ministry 